So I watched a second film tonight, and uh, this was a real oddity. It's a Technicolor British comedy directed by Thornton Freeland um, and co-director, uncredited, also directed by William K. Howard. It's produced by Alexander Korda. It was written by Robert Sherwood, who was um, an American uh, writer. But there's also a writing credits for one, two, three other people. All mixed in is one of those. Um, it's, again, I, I think I said that, Technicolor. And it stars Merle Oberon. Yes, it's a Technicolor Merle Oberon movie. It's her first comedy. It might be her only comedy. I can't remember ever seeing her in a comedy before. It also has uh, Rex Harrison co-starring and um, Elizabeth Welch as a cabaret singer at one point. She was a... Um, very popular black singer at the, at that time and was in many um, nightclub scenes in British and American films in the 30s and 40s. You should look her up. Uh, so the plot is that Merle Oberon is a Yorkshire girl who has an estate and um, her meager inheritance basically keeps the estate running and pays for the elderly servants, keeping them alive. And she's in um, what they call land poor, where she's not really rich, but she has this land, um, and she's able to just keep it up. However, she, oh, and she's in love with um, a doctor played by Rex Harrison, and it's, um, you know, those poor country doctor type doctors. But she wants him to, she wants to marry him regardless, and they'll be happy together. However, she then discovers that she's inherited 18 million pounds, and that her um, uncle had set it up so that, uh, so that um, she'd have to like really earn it to get it, and now she's uh, the right age or, or proved herself or whatever, and she gets 18 million. 18 million pounds in 1939 is roughly the equivalent of half a billion dollars in today's money, according to my calculations. So that's a lot of money. Um, she went from you know nothing to like having a ton of money, and her idiot. Um, doctor boyfriend played by Rex Harrison wants nothing to do with it and so she decides to go off and visit London and do a European tour and get all kinds of house of clothing and just live it up and like screw this doctor guy um meanwhile she drinks champagne for the first time she gets um all these suitors some of which are probably not great people um all kinds of shenanigans ensue and then eventually she realizes that all the men in the world are awful, um, but you might as well be with the one that you love, even if he's also awful. And then they take like a trip to Venice, and I'm con I got really confused, maybe I missed something, about whether they were actually married or pretending to be on a honeymoon, or they were going on a trip to Italy to try to see if they wanted to be married. It was a very confusing ending, um, but... Venice and Technicolor is always, you know, a plus. So I would say this is very much a light, slightly confusing, poor little rich girl type comedy or poor girl becomes rich type comedy. Um, but it's it's interesting for the fact that it's Merle Arbor Oberon in a comedy and in Technicolor. It's not something you're going to see that often. Um, it's currently right now floating around on the Criterion channel. Um, so I recommend it if you're interested, if you're a Merle Oberon fan, it's the same year as Wuthering Heights, which is just like, what? Um, and for those, you know, for those who love that early Technicolor that's not quite up to par of like late 40s, 50s vibrant Technicolor. So this is 1939's Over the Moon, strange little film. Merle Oberon's very funny. Uh, I was shocked by how funny she was. Uh, I just don't know that I've ever seen her in a comedy before, so... Good to know she can do it. Um, Rex Harrison is very Rex Harrison-y. Um, England will be England. There's some caricatures of Italy that I was like, you really need to do that, but, you know, I guess they needed to do that. So Over the Moon, 1939, you can watch it on Criterion Channel right now. I don't think it's on DVD or anything, so this is, like, the only way to see it. Um, Merle, Merle Oberon, Oberon Rarity for you to enjoy.